Okay, my 110 watts of Galoza power is alive. Uh, at least the filaments on the EL503 tubes are burning. But uh, as soon as I switched on the high, the high voltage here, took it out of standby, uh, <laughs> this pull down resistor between the two ca big capacitors started to burn down. You can see them black. So we'll have to replace that and uh, check out what's wrong. I already replaced the power cord with a three prong. There are trimmers in this amp to set uh, the bias, I think. Very old, crappy capacitors. It's these ones. A little better. Again, the shielding, all the controls and the preamp stuff is shielded with this aluminum kind of cabin. Big out. Output transformer and big power transformer. Power transformer. Output transformer. Okay, the amp is now turned off completely, and um, if you want to see what they mean by leaky capacitors, have a look at this. It's just dripping out. Whoa. I'm gonna have to turn the amp around and have a better look. And you can see here. It's already happened before and that's why there's so much corrosion on the top side of the chassis. However, all these tubes are original. And I think still working. It just hummed like a dinosaur when I turned high power and started rumbling um, One important detail is that I was looking at the wrong schematic for this amp. This schematic, which is wrong, has a typical Geloso unequal resistors here 1K, 47K, same on the other output tubes. And uh, what we saw in, in, in the 15 watt amp and even in the 40 watt amp. This schematic is wrong. This is the series 2, 2 series. They have created a different solution for this unequal output from the phase inverter. 1K, 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 but they put two silicon resistors on the output here. 
I will show them and test them in a later video.